OK, so let's say uh, we've got this diagram here. We've got P, Q and R are the midpoints of OA, AB and OB. And we know that the vectors A and B are O to P and O to R, respectively. OK, so that's the information that we've been given. And what we need to do is to find, in terms of A and B, each of these vectors. So let's start off with R to B. Now, that means that we need to get from there to there. Now, we know to get from O to R, it's just B. And if R is the midpoint, then to get from O to R must be the same as getting from R to B. So this must just be B. How about R to P? Well, to get from R to P, I'd have to go back along that vector and then along that vector. So going back along B would be minus B, and then I've got to add on A. So that would be minus B plus A. How about from O to A? Well, if I know how to get from O to P, that's A, then P to A uh, will just be another A, won't it? Because that's the same. So it's A plus another A. So that'd be 2A. Now, how about B to O? Well, B to O, I know that O to R is B. I know that R to B is B. So to get from O to B is 2B. So to get from B to O would be minus 2B. How about B to A? So from B to A. Now, I don't know either of those two vectors. So I'm going to have to go the long way around. So I know that to get from B to O, that's minus 2B, because I've just worked that one out, minus 2B. And to get from O to A was 2A. So minus 2B plus 2A. OK? So remember, vectors are just instructions of how to get from one point to another. So B to Q. Now, B to Q, now that's a bit of a problem, because I don't know what that vector is. However, I do know that Q is the midpoint of BA. So I know how to get from B to A. I just worked it out. So I know how to get from B to A. So I need to go halfway along. So it would be a half of this. So that must be a half of the minus B, half of the minus 2B, rather, and half of the 2A. So that's how I get from B to Q. Right, now how about OQ? O to Q. Right, well, I know how to get from B to Q. I can found out how to get from O to B, because that was 2B. So this would be 2B, that would get me from O to B. And then to get from B to Q, I've just worked that out. So I've got to take away B plus A. So in total, that would be B plus A. How about R to Q? R to Q. Well, I've worked out R to B. That was B. And I know how to get from B to Q. That's minus B plus A. So that means it must just be A to get from R to Q. P to B. P to B. Now, from P, I can backtrack along to O. So that's minus A. And then I can go two Bs, and I'll get to B. A, R. So here's A, here's R. So I can backtrack from A to O, so that's minus 2A. And then one long of B, and I arrive at R. OK? So that's how we can work our way around one of these diagrams.